Hey guys, welcome to Marty Farm Films. I'm here today to talk about pasturing cows on a robot and maybe talk about some of the challenges, the things I've learned, and what you could do to get your cows outside while still getting good visits. So this is a compost pack dairy barn. Uh, we're located near Winchester, Ontario, and uh, the cows are being milked by Lily Robot. Assessing stage of growth and energy available is very important. Uh, lots of people traditionally would let your cows out end of May to get them uh, the high energy levels out of the pasture, out of the grass, and uh, when you were milking in a tie stall or in a parlor, you simply go get all the cows, milk them, and you're, you're good. But in a robot system, the cows need to have a drive to go back to the robot. And the only way to accomplish this is with an energy deficient uh, feed in the bunk and outside. So I've discovered that if I send the cows out in early May or halfway through May, that the energy levels in the grass are so high that they will not come back to the robot. They will literally eat their guts full, lay down, and have no desire to come back to be milked, which is probably one of the most frustrating issues with robot milking and pasturing. So if you open the door, you're, you're gonna notice the cows may not come back. So here are some tricks that I figured out to get them to come back. Limit the amount of pasture available. So here you can see this is actually a 10 acre field, but if you look real close, you can see there is a star electric fence on the left and on the right, it's a traditional fence. So they actually only have a pie piece of this big 10 acre field to intensively graze. So uh, the cows, this is the first time they're out this year, so they're a little bit hoppy and jumpity. And they come out and they start filling their guts with the grass. And now it's your time to shine and read the information that the cows are giving you. The biggest indicator on what's going on with their energy is butter fat. The more butter fat you have, the less energy the cows are getting in their feed, either outside, in the bunk, or in the robot. So the trick is to be as consistent as possible. Don't change anything you don't want changed. Don't change more than one thing at a time, I should say. Um, with the TMR, you have to continue to feed some partial mixed ration inside the barn to keep the intakes up, uh, make sure that you can still supplement some of the protein and that in my case, I'm trying to also get rid of last year's last of the feed. Uh, as the new crop's coming in, I have still some uh, feed available, so I'm trying to use that up uh, before I get into the new stuff. So I continue to make a TMR mix, plus they go outside to get that last a little bit. Now, with the TMR, I did find that the cows need to be attracted back to the barn by the TMR. If you go and you feed out and they aren't coming back, that means that the energy is highest outside versus in the bunk or at the robot. So you can see they kind of get lethargic here. They've, this is a day after, maybe two days after. Uh, they have eaten everything on the right. Uh, there's not much energy left in it. So now uh, you have to watch your visits, but determine how much fence, how much to move the fence the next time. Because, you know, the grass uh, has changed in uh, the energy availability. Has it become more mature? Has it slowed down in growth? Is it still growing? So all those factors affect how much energy is in the grass. Let's recap. You're gonna take a lead fence that limits the amount of feed that they can get from the fresh stuff. You're gonna use a chase fence so that cows can't go back and eat the regrowth. And you're gonna watch your butter fat. The lower your butter fat, 
the more energy is in the feed. So if you see your butter fat drop, you need to not give them as much pasture. I hope this helps everybody. Good luck and let me know how it turns out.